Hi guys, um, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Makeup by Jordana. Um, if you guys are wondering why I'm moving so fast, that is okay. Today I am doing more of like a makeup therapy type of session. Um, I just really wanted to sit down and just do some glam. Today's glam is really inspired by Beats by Deb. If you guys don't know who she is, she'll be somewhere on, on the screen or maybe down in the description box down below. But um, I just kind of wanted to just take some time, chill, relax, and kind of sit down and just do some makeup. Um, as you guys can see, I am doing my eyebrows right now, just cleaning them up a little bit. But yeah, I just want to sit down and chill and do some makeup. And we always all need these little therapy sessions where we just need to sit down and, you know, just take time to ourselves and just, you know, feel glam, just get glam. And I feel like a lot of my therapeutic, like, you know, value comes through doing makeup and I really love enjoying doing it and it really does let me feel peace of mind. Um, so I really do really do love this video. I like this whole style of this video. Let me know if you guys like it as well. Let me know if you guys want to see more of these videos. Um, but I will just be probably going over um, what I'm doing in these videos. But pretty much I'm just serving you guys vibes. Vibes and therapy sessions. <laughs> so. It could also be like a podcast. While a video is playing over. And you just talk. Honestly. Anything. Honestly, yeah. Um, but yeah, so as you guys can see, I'm right now, I'm filling in my brows using the LA Girl Brow Pomade in this shade Ash Brown. Just using that on like an angle brush, um, looking around for things, searching for things, <laughs> and losing things. Um, but yeah, what helps you guys really, um, chill out and feel very therapeutic? Mine's is of course makeup. If you guys want to share it, I say leave it in the you know in the comment section down below. I need you guys to start being more active. I need to gain more subscribers too as well. So if you guys are watching this video and you know somebody who loves doing makeup or wants to learn to start doing makeup, send them to my channel. Um, I feel like that would be really, 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 really fun for them and a really great experience. I'm really nice and I'm halfway decent at makeup. <laughs> um, I would like to think, but. Yeah, um, as you guys can see right now, I am applying my NYX Cosmetics uh, Born to Glow Foundation. This is in the shade Mahogany. It's a little bit lighter, so I'm putting it in the center of my face. And on the perimeter of my face, I'm putting my Fit Me Foundation in the shade 360 Mocha on the perimeters just to match my skin a little bit better. This matches my skin perfectly, actually. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to blend that in using my Beauty Sponge by e.l.f. It is $6 for a sponge. Love e.l.f., but girl. Um, and I'm using my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation in the, in the shade Honey, and I use some of my elf uh, concealer in the shade um, deep cinnamon and I actually have a new product here new product new product I'm using some of the new Julius place products well these are not new but for me they are uh, I'm using their shade six and their concealers um, I literally love their concealers even with using them I was standing the shade stick was absolutely gorgeous it was amazing so i was super duper 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 happy about this and here's one thing that i kind of messed up on i should have blended out my concealer first but i wanted to let it sit um but yeah i ended up doing it anyway it was amazing it worked out fine look how bright the under eye is look how bright like and i love a bright under eye but this just blended like a dream like that juvia's place concealer on top of the nyx concealer was really 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 good and i went back in with another one of their shade sticks um and went ahead and started to blend out the contour and the concealer. This is a little bit more, more of a warmer shade, so it just worked out a lot better. And yeah, so I'm just gonna be blending that out. And now I'm just going in using my NYX Sweet Cheeks blush. Uh, this is in the shade. It's an orange blush. It's okay. <laughs> you guys will get it. And here I am. I'm using a lighter found, uh, lighter concealer. This is my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. This is a hydrating one. And I got this tip from um, Crystal Versace herself. I was watching her makeup tutorial and I'm obsessed with her. If you guys don't know who Crystal Versace is, she's a drag queen from Drupal's Drag Race UK. Um, she literally just won her season. I see you guys go check her out. She's an amazing drag queen and an amazing makeup artist. Um, all around. Right now, I'm just setting my entire face with translucent powder. It was a little bit of the Revolution translucent powder and the Laura Mercier, and I just patted it all over to, you know, set everything in place. And now I'm using my, I think this is my Juvia's Place uh, powder and my um, translucent powder. 
And now I'm going in with my L'Oreal Infallible Foundation Powders and I'm actually using the shade 365 Copper to go ahead and bronze up my skin and kind of add a little bit of a contour to it without being super harsh. And I'm just baking. And I also wanted to come back and just share with you guys that having time for yourself and having that little individual time for you is just really, really, really amazing and something that everybody should try to have. And I know usually that, oh, I, I did one eye. Anyways, that's the eye look we're going for. Using the Beast by Dead palette, cos uh, cosmetics palette, just follow along. But um, I really wanted to come on and just let you guys know that there is always going to be time for you and I feel like taking time for you and just having that entire you know individual time just for you set down and set out is just something that everybody should always try to have or something that everybody should always try to aim for uh, especially when you know if you're working all the time or if you are if you guys hear any signs in the background I'm so sorry <laughs> um, but yeah uh, I just feel like you should always have that individual time to just sit down and have like a little therapy session for yourself. Do something that you like to do, you know, if whether it's makeup or playing video games or drawing or doing art or doing anything like that. Even going for a drive is really nice. But yeah, I just say always, 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 always set up that time just for you. It's really, 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 really important. So now I'm just dusting off that bake and I am applying my infallible foundation powders. This is in the shade 330 hazelnut. Um, and I applied it into the lower parts of my eyes and put in my under eye and I applied my lash glue for my lash glue to dry. And I'm going to go back in with that powder and just go back in the places where I was baking instead just to add that highlight. Okay, now I'm back. <laughs> and I was just spraying my face down with some setting spray. I was using the Elf Hydrating Setting Spray, the Coconut Setting Mist, and the Maybelline. Um, it was a really matte one in the pink bottle. But yeah, I just used that because I had all that powder on. And I'm going back in with more of the foundation powder by uh, L'Oreal. And now I'm going to go in with blush. I'm using my Avani Greg palette for the Bebs palette. And I'm dipping into the bunch of the pinks and oranges and yellow shades to add some blush. And I'm putting it really high up on my face. You know, just give a lifted look. And I'm going back in with my NYX brow pen. And I'm going back in and going to fill my brows in one more time to make them a little bit darker, a little bit more prominent. And adding some more fake brow strokes to the front. Reapplying my blush. Well, as you guys can see at this time, I was looking for my mascara and I just lost it. <laughs> um, and it just magically reappeared in front of me. Thank you for the mascara gods who gave it back to me because I most definitely lost it. Um, thank you guys. Thank you guys so much. So now I'm just going to be lining my lips. I'm using my um, Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink. Um, I forgot what shade it's in. It'll be in the description box below. Hopefully I won't forget it. Um, if I do, you guys will find out. Um, but yeah, I'm just lining my lips right now with it using a lip brush. And I like to go a little bit bigger on my lips. I kind of overline a little. A lot. Um, <laughs> And now I'm just going back in and filling in those um, sparse areas with some orange shadow. Uh, the look is super inspired by Beast by Deb herself. If you guys didn't know, a uh, picture of it will probably be on the screen or maybe a video of it. I love her. I just really noticed that these lashes were like a lot smaller than a regular lash that I go for. And I'm actually kind of living for them. So I'm like, I'm kind of here for it. I don't know if you guys are. And I'm just going in back in, adding more finishing touches.
And this is the finished look, guys. Please let me know if you guys like it. I love this little fall look that I did. I never really wore it one shadow that much, but I really did enjoy doing this look. Please let me know if you guys like this look. Please make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe down below. Follow me on all of my social medias, which will be linked in the description box down below, or somewhere around the screen. And please make sure you guys subscribe, 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 and share this video everywhere. Share the video everywhere. I love you guys so much, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.